Hello guys, welcome to Altcoin Facts with Crypto Preaching Pedro. First and foremost, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I hope you've all been doing very well. As you've noticed, the markets have been all over the place, but everything is still extremely bullish. I will repeat myself. Every time Bitcoin dips, it's another opportunity to buy alts or at least dollar cost average into projects that you are eyeing. Why? Because they become more affordable. Today I wanna to go through some news that I think you need to know. I also wanna talk about some current trends that you have to be careful about. Number three, I wanna highlight some projects that I think are exceptional. Now with no further ado, let's get to it, peeps. First piece of news, announcing Overledger 2.0 full release. This is one project that I believe has so much upside potential. It just takes a little patience, guys. Success doesn't happen overnight. Most of the projects in the top 10 or the top 20, they've been around for years. Keep that in mind. Let's read what Quant has to say. Following on from the April release, today we launched a full release of Overledger 2.0, providing interoperability to Ethereum, XRP, and Bitcoin mainnets. This update delivers the significant functionalities that were shared in the preview release for the use on mainnets, alongside the exciting new features that have been developed. Development number one, new API. The new Overledger API has been transformed into one API for everything, bridging the global ecosystems of DLTs and APIs. Development number two, standardized. Based on ISO TC307, providing simple and standard interface to access all supported DLTs and blockchains. Number three, secure and scalable augmented zero auth federated authentication standards, enabling single sign-on for enterprise customers and implemented scalability and resilience updates for cloud infrastructure. As you can tell, Quant has been building, has been partnering, and has been developing. It's just a matter of time, a matter of time before they poof, explode. Second bit of news, Alpha Oracle Aggregator. Alpha, which is a DeFi aggregator, has implemented both band protocol and Chainlink. I find this interesting, but also it's going to be a trend. Chainlink may be one of the top oracles, but it will not be the only oracle. When you hear some of these YouTubers saying, oh, only buy Chainlink, uh, you can't go wrong with Chainlink, only Chainlink. Don't listen. You have to diversify. Just as you're seeing here, any financial entity must de-risk. And the only way to de-risk when dealing with data fed by oracles, they need to have more than one oracle. The great part about Alpha, they realize that they need interoperability. So they also partnered with Band Protocol, which is interoperable. And in reality, the tech behind Band Oracle is superior to Chainlink. Chainlink does have first movers advantage. Regardless, this is a trend. So from my point of view, diversify. You get a little bit of the blue chip chain link if it's not too high, but also dollar cost average into some of these other projects that have maximum potential. Next bit of news. MoneyGram Inc.'s partnership with CoinMe to sell Bitcoin at its locations. It doesn't seem to amaze me how every type of financial institution which was against Bitcoin is now rushing to adopt Bitcoin. The world is awake and the world understands Bitcoin is here to stay. Bitcoin is a great store of value and is a hedge against inflation. And because of this fact, you should be extremely bullish on Bitcoin and the blockchain. Though it's volatile until it matures, it is here to stay. And the potential gains are massive. So if I was you, start reading and start learning. The blockchain and Bitcoin are here to stay. And MoneyGram, welcome. Next bit of news. The rush is on, peeps. Brex partners with Travel Bank to launch Bitcoin and Ether rewards program for businesses. Fresh off last month's massive 425 fundraiser at 7.4 billion valuation, Brex, an all-in-one financial service provider for small and medium-sized businesses, is launching one of the first crypto rewards programs for corporates. With a new offering, Brex customers, most notably Airbnb, ClassPass, a subscription service that provides access to numerous fitness studios, and Startup Accelerator Y Combinator will be able to exchange Brex rewards for Bitcoin and Ethereum in the same way they'd redeem them for miles, gift cards, cash, or travel. Wow. 
everyone and their grandma, and especially every business and their grandma's business, is trying to accumulate Bitcoin any way possible and trying to provide Bitcoin in any way possible. Next, making every news media, YFI, Yearn Finance. Yearn Finance is a yield aggregator. It's currently trading for $75,209 with a max supply of 36,666 coins and is ranked 60. The reason that Yearn Finance is so hot is the fact that individuals who hold Yearn Finance who is led by Andre Cronier, those individuals receive incredible, incredible returns, thousands of percents. All right, guys, next, let's talk about some trends. There's a trend because of TikTokers and because of Reddit, where many of these dog coins or meme coins or uh, coins that are pretty much useless are being pumped to the sky. Now, for those individuals that get into the very bottom, they're making money. They're making money because they're the whales. They get in. They manipulate the social medias. They create hype. And then, as you see here, they're buying at the very bottom. They pump it up. And then they just start selling. They dump it all the way back to the bottom. So the individuals that purchase as it's going up or even at the top, they end up losing everything. This is exactly what happened in 2017, where a lot of individuals lost a lot of money. Just to prove my point, Mooncoin. Look where it's at. It gets pumped, it gets dumped, it gets pumped, it gets dumped, it gets pumped, it gets dumped. It gets pumped, it gets dumped, and then it goes sideways. The reason it gets pumped and dumped like this, the pump is created by the whales. They create a momentum. Then as regular individuals start looking at it, And thinking it's going to go to the moon, they buy in, and once they have enough suckers, then they dump it, and you're left with nothing. So if I was you, I would be very, very careful to try and stay away from some of these meme coins. So all I can say is, please be very careful, because in the very end, you will lose. And there's another trend that you have to be aware of. Only because there's certain VCs or certain investors that are backing certain projects. You have to perform your due diligence and not chase these coins. Example, Casper Network. Casper Network is backed by quite a lot of VCs and was being talked about in many of the Telegram groups. It was really being hyped. What launched and instantaneously was trading on many different exchanges. Well, this is what happened. It came out trading at $1.69. It went up as high as $40. People were buying this at $40. And then when it reached $40, it was dumped. Now it's at $1.08. You have to understand, this coin at ICO or IEO, it was $0.03. Cents. One thing to be aware of, when something has 10 billion total supply coming out the door trading at a dollar and 69, reaching a reaching a high of $40, there's something definitely wrong. Don't follow the hype. You're going to lose your money. Always wait for the retracements. Always wait for the retracements. Always wait for that project or that coin to come back 68%, which is very typical. Now, the reason I'm bringing this coin up, Casper, because Casper has a lot of influential whales and VCs. And what a lot of people tend to forget that in 2017 and 2018, the VCs were the ones that were dumping on the average individuals. They were going in at seed. These coins were pumping. They got extremely greedy and just started dumping everything. Why? Because they could go to the next one, next one, next one, next one at seed, and they kept making money. So if I was you, before you chase a project or before you ape into a project, make sure you perform your due diligence. One, you look into the project, make sure you discover the project as being a great project yourself. And number two, look into the coin metrics. What is the total supply? And then number three, try to find out what the price was at seed price or IEO price. So more or less you can figure out if it's a good price range for you to dollar cost average into. 
I was asked by a different sub, what are your top 10 most bullish projects? And this is me being real, guys. Now, my top 10 in no certain order, these are some projects that I'm extremely bullish that I believe have unimaginable upside. Number one, Morpheus Labs. Morpheus Labs is a platform. It's interoperable with high TPS and low fees. Because they have not really marketed to the West, they're not really known in the West. But as soon as the marketing starts, which is within the next few weeks, Morpheus Labs is going to break out. Morpheus Labs has some incredible technology and I think has in incredible potential. Another one is One Ledger. One Ledger is another interoperable agnostic blockchain with very low fees and very high TPS. It's built on Cosmos. One Ledger is targeting the logistics market. They already have a cloud wallet available. They have domains and they are interoperable with Ethereum. This is another one that I believe has extreme potential. Look at that price. Wow. One and a half cents. Another project I'm very bullish on is Centaur. Another Cosmos project. Why am I bullish on Centaur? Centaur is very similar to Thorchain. It's got the same tech with a small twist. They want to do what Aave is doing with lending and borrowing and also what Compound does with DeFi. Centaur just launched their mainnet. Because of what Centaur plans to do on their technology, I believe it has extreme upside as well. Sifchain or Erowen is another coin that I'm very bullish on. It's another powerhouse from Cosmos. It's very similar to Thorchain and it actually has some of the Thorchain developers working on it. They already have an interoperable DEX. They have staking with very high APY. And I believe once the world finds out what they have to offer with a little bit more marketing, the upside is extreme. And yet another powerhouse from Cosmos is Kira Network. Kira Network also is very similar to Thorchain. They are an interoperable liquidity pool and will have NFTs. Because of the use case and the niche, I believe it has extreme upside potential. Ramp Protocol. Ramp Protocol is an amazing interoperable staking platform. What you can do with Ramp Platform, you can stake your coins, whichever coin it would be. What they create is synthetic coins for you, which are tradable and exchanges. And you can continue to make money. One of the first to come up with this idea, and I believe it's amazing. Next is Bond or Bonded Finance. Bonded Finance is a yield aggregator that's accumulated massive partnerships and has great technology. I believe because the financial sector is so massive and there's so many different use cases for it, Bonded Finance has massive upside potential. Another Cosmos powerhouse, Persistence, XPRT. Persistence has many working products at this point, and they're going to be creating NFTs that are pegged to real-world assets. This is huge. Another great thing about Persistence, Persistence is heavily backed by Luna Terra, and Persistence is going to follow the same model. For those individuals that stake or hold Persistence, any new project that gets launched by Persistence or incubated by Persistence will be automatically airdropped to the Persistence holders. And besides that, the APY for staking Persistence is incredible. Another project that I'm extremely bullish on that I believe ex has extreme potential is Phoenix Flow, FXF. Phoenix Flow aims to be an interoperable CFI, DeFi, centralized exchange and decentralized exchange platform where all you have to do is use their portal to interconnect and trade with every other existing centralized and decentralized exchange i love phoenix flow because i love orion protocol their niches and ease of use are excellent last but not least apron protocol called built on poker that Apron Protocol is an API with oracles. But if you think of the graph and if you think of Chainlink, this combines them both. 
you'll be able to grab certain data feeds and monetize those data feeds. The use case is fantastic. The upside potential is unimaginable. So now all I have to say to you, use the tools before you, CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap, and the internet. Research projects, find projects before these YouTubers find them, before they blow up. Because once these big YouTubers start talking about it, most of the gains have happened already. Don't FOMO into projects because big YouTubers are talking about them. FOMO into projects because you discovered them and were convinced by your research that the use case, the team, the marketing are exceptional. So now let me know what you think below. What do you think about my top 10 picks with the most potential? Well, thank you for watching Altcoin Facts. Long live the blockchain. This is Crypto Preaching Pedro saying thank you. Till next time.